West Virginia has played a host to an extraordinary number of unusual creatures. They range from a widely known mothman of Point Pleasant to the Flatwoods monster of Brockton County. Few people, however, even within the state itself, have heard the strange case of West Virginia's very own Vegetable Man. The Vegetable Man was said to be very tall, around seven feet, thin, with a semi-human shape. It also appeared to be partially plant-based and possessed large ears with striking eyes that oscillated in colours. Its arms were thin and gave the impression of reeds by a riverbank. On the ends of its long fingers were suction cups which had thorns protruding from them. In 1968, in the woods around Fairmont, West Virginia, Jennings Frederick was out for a hunt as he moved through the woods in search of game. Frederick heard an odd noise. It sounded almost like a record player running faster than it should, a sort of high-pitched jabbering. When he tracked down the source of the sound, he came face to face with this odd and obscure creature. Jennings would go on to say that he looked weakened and sickly. The jabbering increased, and suddenly he came out for words. You need not fear me. I wish to communicate. I come as a friend. We know of you all. I come in peace. I wish medical assistance. I need your help. With that, the creature lunged at him and wrapped Frederick up in its surprisingly strong arms. Frederick was unable to break away from the embrace as the creature pierced his skin with the thorns of its fingers. While it drained blood from him, Frederick found himself enfrailed by the flashing colours of the creature's eyes. Then, almost as quickly as it pounced, the vegetable man raced up the hill. Frederick claimed to hear a deep humming from the other side of the hill. He summarised that it might have been the sound of a creature's ship taken off. To date, the 1968 encounter is the only sighting of this supposed vegetable man.